And so we have these ridiculous, asinine, and yet endless efforts to manage the most minor details of our lives. And a government that has the power to manage the most minor details of our lives has the power to manage the big parts of it, too. That's the problem. If the liberals are right, that is, if the status are right, and Congress has the power to tell us not only that we must purchase with our own money from a private entity, a private health care plan, but what the plan is to be, then I must ask you status out there, what are the limits? I must ask you why you reject the Constitution. I don't want to hear all these these inventions you come up with for skirting it and evading it. I want to know why. You know, I do not believe, you ready for this one? I do not believe you can embrace the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States and be a statist. They cannot work together. It's impossible. You folks on the left, you are endlessly, incessantly demanding more government. That runs exactly contrary to the Constitution. You are endlessly, incessantly talking about creating new rights. That runs contrary to the Declaration of Independence. You don't create them, and you can't take them. They're unalienable. This is why it's so frustrating to hear this First Lady, who's praised for going on and on, telling us what our children should eat, and now what we should eat if we go to a restaurant. It's just a recommendation They're in there, in the back room, strong-arming the group that represents restaurants in this country. It's not just a recommendation. The government's taking up the federal government. Bake sales for school fundraisers? Vending machines in your local public schools? Where the hell did this come from? Don't worry, Mark. It's for health. It's always for health. It's always for safety. It's always for clean water. It's always for clean air. I got it. The only people who support all that good stuff, obviously, are big government authoritarian status types. All the rest of us, we love drinking muddy water and breathing thick air and feeding our kids endlessly Hershey bars. Yeah, we're all the uh, we're all the morons. Only if you're in the government, a politician or a bureaucrat, do you know how these things are supposed to work. And by the way, how did that happen? You fill out a job application, you're hired by the federal government, and suddenly you're smarter than everybody else? You get elected to public office by three votes. Suddenly... You know how to run the world? Where did that come from? The first lady was utterly unknown to the American people. She had some job at a hospital, administrative job, and now all of a sudden, what a genius. She's out there with her organic garden. Did she have an organic garden when she lived in Chicago? No! Who the hell has an organic garden when you live in a city? Who the hell has one anyway? But that's beside the point. If I tried an organic garden here, the deer would eat it. She has Secret Service agents, I guess, protecting her garden. That's beside the point. This is offensive to me and should be to you as a thinking individual, as a United States citizen. I don't know. Did uh, did Lincoln's wife uh, put out all these suggestions for what to eat and what not to eat? What do you know that, Mr. Perdue? Did Mary Todd do that? I don't think so. Martha Washington. Look, obesity is a national security issue. Well, first ladies back then didn't say stupid stuff like that, did they? No. You want to be president? Then run for president. You want to be in charge of nutrition? And then uh, then go join the uh, AMP and uh, handle nutrition for the fruit section of their stores. What are you doing? But here's the difference between us and them in government. They have the power to make laws, and we have to follow them. This is why they seek public office or try to be close to power, to impose their will on us. We wouldn't give a damn if Michelle Obama was in the private sector, putting out suggestions for nutrition and obesity and this, the vending machines. She'd be dismissed as all the other kooks. I mean, all the rest of them. But this is different when you can summon an industry into your office, out of public view, without any oversight whatsoever, and give them a talking to And then suddenly you show up at your restaurant one day. Excuse me, where is my 12-ounce steak? Uh, We're following the the first lady's suggestions on obesity. It's now 7 ounces. I don't want a 7-ounce steak. I want a 12-ounce steak. We don't offer those anymore. Oh. It's like a French restaurant then. 
You pay three times as much for a quarter of the food. French have it all figured out. Anyway, uh, this man says he's, he's against uh, all these attacks on businesses and all these regulations. You can't be a leftist like him and be otherwise. So there we are, a $53 billion railway they want to build. It's amazing. 